coming at its valentine's day edition <laughs> light up is no going to go back home uh, i don't brush and tell that's my charm that's right that's all that's all <laughs> so you must have crushes no have you seen the guys these days they throw however what i was talking about is was it okay Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Beauty Stop. Since our last podcast did extremely well, we decided to come back with another podcast just for you guys. But this time we have a very special guest with us. But before that, Rimsha, do you want to tell them a little bit about our podcast today? <laughs> sure. So today it's a very special podcast that we are filming. The title of which is Grooming Etiquettes, but Valentine's Day edition. And of course, it's a different topic. So we got a very special guest with us, Varun. Hello, guys. My name is Varun Agrawal. If you don't know me by my name, you might know me by my handle, Settle Subtle. I create menswear and lifestyle-based content on Instagram, and I'm so excited to be here. I mean, you should be like you're the first guy who we've invited on our all girls podcast crew. So, isn't this your second? Cut, Cut the, the cameras. cameras. <laughs> so Varun, you mentioned you create a lot of men's um, fashion content and lifestyle mm-hmm. content. So I'm assuming grooming is a very essential part of it, right? Pretty much, yeah. So what do you think about grooming, like in general? I think it's a core essential, a necessity. And uh, as far as I can relate, it starts from school, right? When you were a kid. you have to get up on time and those are then your first grooming standards your uniform your hairdo your nails all of that and i think uh, that is important because it holds a certain value when you present yourself outside and somehow as we grow up we just get lazy or get too comfortable or or maybe somebody's not commanding us so we just think it's okay you're well, too laid back yeah and then adults get not so presentable in their in their appearance and i think it's also the discipline that we lack you know when we talk about grooming at least for me what i'm referring to is in terms of beauty personal hygiene and how one looks after themselves right. like what you choose to wear is secondary as we were talking about like <clears throat> men's grooming and you told <clears throat> us like what you think about it what about you what about me um When we're talking about men's grooming, are we talking about grooming in like general or like your significant other? <laughs> <laughs> we can start. Is, is there with a like difference? Like yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, sure. yeah. Like, I wouldn't be bothered about how someone is smelling if I'm not going to go too close to them. But you'll prefer so, them smelling right. nice, regardless. Yeah, I think in general, I feel like you know, with all things, like whether it be your house, your car. maybe your pair, your expensive pair of sneakers if you love mm. something you look after it mm. ideally i would assume if you love yourself you will look after yourself and you'll put mm. in the efforts mm. you know mm. like personal hygiene is like baseline requirement but that's what uh, women do right most yeah. women i know uh when we groom ourselves and when we do things for ourselves it's like a pamper session like yeah. getting our nails done getting our hair done getting a massage a facial that is I so true i think it's more for us Uh it's like a self love thing. But what do you think like men think about grooming like in general then? This the stereotypical image of a man is this rough and tough guy, you know? Correct. Like that's what traditional you think. Image. Yeah, the traditional prehistoric image of a man is we hunt, we make fire. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> so our aspects of masculinity has always been rough and not towards the beautification of like the, the man. provider not like for themselves. Yeah, I mean, yeah. so so in the quest of fulfilling what the historic image the, the image or the duty of a man it doesn't involve beautification but uh, but the only time i think we think of that is when we have to attract somebody correct i'm i'm sounding like nadjio but <laughs> <laughs> but but that's that's the primal instinct of uh, taking care of themselves is to be presentable for the other half for the female but but now when you talk about yeah. uh how girls take it as self love mm-hmm. i'm pretty sure now that the times are changing and we are open to such discussions men identify these topics mm. when you say it's self love we would want to experience that part too Correct. so now we think about oh if they are doing it in in a form of self love and self maintenance then even we should try it 
I think guys definitely do enjoy self care as well because when you're dating someone, they you that's know, when they do they it. They enjoy it. Like, yeah, they nice. steal your products. They, <laughs> they want to have those like pamper sessions with mm. you doing their skincare. Mm. So I'm sure they enjoy it. But I think guys have like a different personality when it comes to their guy friends versus when yeah. it comes to their right. Is yeah. it is that correct? Yeah, because because we don't discuss it, right? Like we'll discuss about cars and. The only group activity would be us working out yeah. in our sweatpants. So, so, so we don't talk about sheet masking with your boys. Yeah. That's yeah. not happening. Are you sure <laughs> that'd be a pleasant sight, though? Why I not? Mean, I would love it. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind. Haven't it. you I seen mean, Friends, like where Ross, Joey, and Chandler they have that like uh, mask? Oh yeah, this one episode. That is so yeah. cute. Yeah. Like men do do it, but like but not as a group activity. It. They don't really publicize it, so mm. we don't hear a lot about it. But I know for sure because I have like guy friends and there's like groups of people and then uh, if there's a concert or something they'll come running. <laughs> what can I do with my friends? Yeah. <laughs> I have a pimple. Like you go to a wedding and your like male cousins are coming <clears> to <throat> like how can I hide it? Like that is so true though. It. Like every guy I've spoken to, he always ends up asking me about some skincare routine or how like what his skin type is and because <laughs> guys I feel like are very interested in these things but yeah. it's. I think like it's, not it's openly discussed because they don't have anybody to I think talk about it. The first point of interest comes from a girl, where I want to do something about it. I don't know who to talk to, so the, my closest comfortable girl who I can talk to <laughs> will be my first point of contact for my first grooming lesson. I think makes sense. So who would you rather go to? Your best friend, your sister, or your mom, or your girlfriend? The internet, I would say, <laughs> <laughs> to start with. S is beauty. S is beauty, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, maybe maybe that first, and then if I don't find something or if that doesn't work, then then anybody to the rescue for that matter. Now that we're talking about uh, men coming to you know their girlfriends, female friends, mm. or like the internet <laughs> for the rescue if you go through anything, mm. but then is there any grooming advice that you've gotten from your guy friends? Or like a male friend, or you know, mm-hmm. somebody you worked with uh, that you still follow, and that you would like to give to the audience, whoever men are watching this. I think with with boys, I've only discussed how to trim your beard and shave your beard, and what's the correct angle you should go upwards or downwards, all of those things. But uh, majority of the grooming advices, I believe, uh, have come from girls and. Uh, because men don't talk about it as much and and that's how somehow it becomes in my duty because i'm i'm into content creation right the mm-hmm. the reason why we are talking is because i am somewhat representing the guys mm-hmm. so if i talk then i can probably talk to my friends and other people on the internet you did a, a video for us last time where you mm-hmm. spoke about i think some of the grooming hacks mm-hmm. and uh, i saw you use like a concealer the so arcelia concealer yeah, oh so that works like magic yeah. and i'm new to this of course i'm learning and i'm i'm I love exploring these products but this one product was nice it was easy because you <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> <So> understood <laughs> yeah you dab it yeah that's the term correct yeah. put some dab it and it's nice it works but is is that something you do on a daily basis or like on special occasions well on daily basis i try to take care of my skin with other products mm-hmm. and just keep it moisturized and hydrated and all of that mm-hmm. uh, but when are, when there are these important events to attend or or if i've had like a tough long night mm-hmm. in terms of work or party then you wake up with these baggy dark eyes yeah. looking like a panda <laughs> that's when these things help so i think it's more occasional would you do it the, mm-hmm. before a date if you're going on a date would you use concealer Yeah, I mean, yeah. why not? And what about skin care? Do you have anything special that you would like to do before going on a date? Skin care when it comes to skin care, I think it's a longer process than just a One night day. before. Yeah. But I think there are these uh quick hydrating masks that you can put. Mm-hmm. Those work, I think. They at least feel nice and they feel uh, fresh. So I think that that can be a quick fix. It doesn't stick on the beard though. That's the funny part. Yeah, so, it sheet masks. So, yeah. yeah, they don't. <laughs> it, it only sticks here, and, and then, then this it hangs. Yeah, yeah it just yeah. hangs. Oh, you know. 
Yeah, I've done the it on boyfriend many routine. people. <laughs> many people. <laughs> I was like, beard, how does Rimsha know? Wait, what? Because, yeah, you know, my <laughs> friends come to me, they're like, uh, can you do me the mask thingy? Can you help me with that? And then I put it on them because they don't even know how to like unfold it and put it on. <laughs> now the thing is, they've done it multiple times. Mm. By now, they should know how to unpack a sheet mask. They're just ignorant. They don't want to learn. <laughs> okay, now that Rimsha has spoken about uh, like a date night ritual, what do you think is your grooming routine? Like, what does it look like before a special date night? Now that Valentine's Day is also around the corner. Hmm. A bath. <laughs> we should start with that, I would say. Mm-hmm. And uh, if you want to know what body wash, or if I can suggest, there's a. Uh, I've been using this orange fragrance body wash by Body Shop. The Body yes. Shop. The body Satsuma shop, body wash. <laughs> the body shop, Satsuma body wash is what I use. Yes, Yay. yes. Thank now you. we know. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I use it all over. Easy. Yeah, that's how you take a shower. <laughs> what else do you do? Like I, I use a serum hmm. because that's that. I think that's a nice thing to use. After that, after we had a good bath from Satsuma. <laughs> <laughs> So we get out. Uh, I I also like to brush my teeth again, whenever that is, because you yeah. want to smell bad. Well, you gotta smile obviously. right. You gotta get a chance to get close. Yeah. Yeah, first impressions yeah, matter. Yeah. And yeah, a little bit of lip balm. Hmm. And you step out. Not to forget uh, a good fragrance, and especially for night. I remember. Uh, Currently, I've been using the Ralph Lauren's Ralph Club. Oh my God, that's the that? best. That's, that's the best so ever. That's so good. It's a nice night. Yeah, it is really me. good. Yeah, yeah. So, mm. so that's my go-to currently, especially when it's an mm. evening date, and and yeah, and then you have to drive, and then Bombay can take a lot of time for you to reach from point A to point B. So I also often carry a, a mist. Currently, I'm using a Kama rose water. Oh, by the way, the Kama Ayurveda mist that I was talking about, I restocked that along with a couple of other products from the Gifts of Love campaign that's live, so you should check it out. Now All that you're that. saying that, like you spoke about lip balm also, and I'm reminded of the scene. In I got Friends. these eyes. I got these. Appro- so the approval I was asking, I got that for my lip balm. Yeah, yeah. it's like, important. There's also this scene in Friends where Joey talks about uh, this thing he does for like a date. He's like, I use like a shiny lip balm so that my <laughs> lips look irresistible. So what is like the one beauty hack or tip that you do on a date? To be irresistible. It be could be honest. anything. Maybe using like a concealer to conceal your red flags. My <laughs> answer was even better. My, <laughs> I see what you did. Mm. But I would say uh, I I try to be honest. Mm. That's my charm. Thank you. He's going deep. Yeah. Beauty skin, skin deep. Life. Irresistible. <laughs> yeah, just be honest. Mm. Yeah. If I have dry lips, I have dry lips. <laughs> <laughs> so you mentioned that you use a little bit of concealer, and she was also talking about it. Mm. Have you ever used a concealer to conceal a hickey? Ever before? <laughs> If your question is, does it work? I would say yes, it does. Hmm, that's all we need to know. Yeah. Hmm. Would you happen to know if that whisk trick works or the cold spoon? Because I see it all over the internet. It's like a five minutes craft thingy. But that did happen to a friend. A friend. And uh, it doesn't work. I don't think anything works for him. So, <laughs> 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 yeah, I think uh, the best solution would be. A concealer. There's another green base. Correct me if oh there God, is a word to it. It's corrector. A color, color corrector. Smart. Yeah. Somebody that, cooked here. Yeah, he's a close friend. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. So now Very that close. we're talking about hickeys, before we get to the hickey part, there's another part. It's called a date, like a first date. Ideally. Who gives you hickey Ideally. on the first date? <laughs> Ideally. Ideally. You wanna know? <laughs> <laughs> I wanna know. So what kind of dates her? are you guys why? going Because <laughs> she spoke you about asked, it. You asked who gives hickey on the first date. And yeah. Like. yeah, because she spoke about it. Like who gives a hickey on the first date? I don't know, are people. Are spilling beans? Okay. Hmm. There's no beans to spill here. It's all spilled. So before the hickeys, <laughs> uh, plural, 
<laughs> comes the first date mm. and on the first date um you're going with a girl right and what's the first thing don't assume that you're going with a girl or a boy <laughs> or a gender fluid individual when you go with sweet, go sweet. out with Let's them walk. <laughs> so uh what is the first thing you notice and don't say it depends on whether he she they them are coming or going oh yeah that is so i like how your brain works sinking <laughs> he was going to say that <laughs> uh a lot to be honest depends on how a person is walking like if i'm waiting for somebody and the first impression is obviously how they hold themselves up i see how you did this hmm. it's nice you're good <laughs> so it's it's a lot uh, about how they hold hmm. themselves that's i think the first the body language posture mm. is is the first impression for me that i think a part of grooming that's not cosmetic but yeah what about hygiene wise like has it ever happened that you went on a date and something terrible happened oh my you god know it. <laughs> <laughs> i know I it but i want you to yeah. say yeah. it on camera cuz yeah, it's I funny yeah i will i will so this one time okay maybe not a date but i was out with a girl and this girl okay we calling for finger food because it's not a date we're just hanging out you know so we get into it we get dirty with nachos and fries happening okay and this girl while eating and she's hogging but in a cute way because girls look cute doing all of this while doing all of that a nail just chips out towards my plate like just chips out as in like her extension fell off i hope it was the extension <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that happened, and I'm like, belongs to you. <laughs> Imagine if it fell like in. Imagine if I ate it. Food. Yeah, taking out for like instead of an engagement ring, he's taking an extension. <laughs> But that was his one of the bad experiences. Yeah, what was yours? Tell me, you guys go on a date? Usually. On a date. On dates. Dates. No, nobody dates. wants to date us. <laughs> I just have not had any. That's such a lie. <laughs> not like grooming bad, like something like that happened. Hmm. And also, I don't know if it's even relevant to the podcast, but I've not even been on that that many first dates. So, guys, <laughs> what's your ick then? Did we discuss your ick? Oh, My yeah. ick. No. I think smelling bad. cuz uh even if it's a first date for example i'm waiting or he's waiting and i go or he comes and the first thing you do is hi and then you hug right and you hug and then the first hug if like you smell bad i think that's the end it's of it it's a make or break yeah i think the yeah. like even if the, he's a good conversationalist and i think that's pretty shallow of me but i wouldn't <laughs> stop thinking about like oh how bad he smells mm. but what would you do if you were like into the guy would you give him like a second chance or a perfume maybe oh yeah that's that's a good idea that's probably what i do <laughs> yeah but yeah that's what is a good choice oh uh, um armani so good conversation bad smell second date with a perfume gift yeah i think that that's makes a good equation but i don't think Fair perfume enough. helps if you don't take a shower so then give him a kit Yeah, <laughs> take him for a spa date. Oh my God, that's a great idea! Yeah. Like we can go on a spa date. Give him hints, subtle hints. Yeah. Okay, you tell me. What if you go on a date with someone you really like them, mm. but there's this one thing that they can get away with? Something like, uh, what is like a like an ick for you? An ick for me would be different than another attribute that they can get away with. So ick, uh, a couple of them, and uh, these are again very. gender neutral for that matter even my guy friends i would like point out mm. the the girl i'm on a date with probably i can't point out mm. but uh hair popping out of their nostrils or your ew and uh <laughs> bad breath and all of these you know like mm-hmm. these things are not taken seriously especially i think people don't realize that these areas are noticeable mm. people think kya hi dikh raha hai usually maybe this could have been your like bad date experience it hasn't been thankfully okay. that's all it's But just like a night i'll tell you why it's it can be more difficult for a girl is because proportionately men are taller women mm. are shorter oh my god yes then so so when you look at a guy you will probably <laughs> light is, up his nose this is your angle right <laughs> so this is your angle 
<laughs> and that should make the guy I'm all imagining. the more conscious <laughs> yeah i mean that's how my <laughs> No, that's wha- all so I can think, think about, about if I exactly. ever see a guy who's taller than you, like, looking right but up their is nose. It, is it that thing? It is. It is such a practical approach to this subject. So, so basically, you want them to be like to take care of themselves exactly. first. Exactly. Like love haan, themselves. Haan, pehle khud like ki be socho. self-sufficient and all mm. of those things. Mm. That's so, the baseline. Yeah. I guess. But I remember you mentioning before we started shooting that uh, you have a thing against like uh, red nails, like really, really, just like, like those red red nails, you know, like blood red. Blood is darker, rather just <laughs> on your nails. But it's Valentine's Day. People are going to put on uh, red nail paint. Like what if somebody does love red nail paint and you like them on a date? Like what are you going to do? Except Yeah, nail color is temporary. I won't I won't mind changing. You're liking towards yeah. red nail paint? I won't mind uh, tolerating that week. <laughs> Lucky her. Damn tough. Yeah. Tough love. Um I don't know about you guys but there was this one time that I uh, had to take a shower at my at a guy's place <laughs> at my ex's place mm. and um there was only that infamous 5 in 1 body sh- uh, body shower gel do you know those no the 5 blue. in 1 is it yeah like you can like wash hair, your body face beard body and another I don't know I don't know. It says five, six, and I don't know. Okay, I didn't. <coughs> I stopped reading after like <laughs> face. <laughs> but one of those multi-in-one mm. body washes, mm. and I used it. Actually, it was kind of refreshing. I smelled really good after. Mm. Like a man, but really good. Mm, like. A yeah. So, <laughs> have you guys ever used any of your? I don't think I have. Never. Yeah. What? I think guys have used my products, skincare. Oh That's yeah, always that fun. Is yeah, always but I don't think fun. I have ever used a guy's products. No. And you've never stolen anything from any I of your steal. partner. See, yeah, I think I'm it's quite it's, open it's, about yeah. uh, trying anything and everything I see on the countertop. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Imagine there's like a 7,000 uh, rupee serum, <laughs> like really expensive, and he's using it as a back your face. <laughs> <laughs> moisturizer all over your face. Yeah, mm. that'd be fun. Unpopular opinion, sunscreen and serums and moisturizers aside, what do you guys think about um, sharing your partner's toothbrush? You go first. Big no. I have never done it and I'm never going to do it. You Don't even sell it to me. You a couple of things. You've not used a menswear product. You haven't shared but a why? toothbrush. Give me a good reason. Try it. Have you? I'll try. I like <laughs> oh, you've not tried? I'll try. I was guessing he's tried it in the bathroom without telling the girl. And now he can't speak about it. Uh, I don't brush and tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, now, like talking about brushing. Mm. What do you guys think about kissing your partner? Uh, right after waking up, but before brushing your teeth. What are these questions, I'm sure. It's are you guys spirit. brushing before you sleep? Yes. Who doesn't? Okay, okay. As a social experiment, don't brush once okay. and sleep and wake up. And then smell and your do. breath. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and then brush your teeth and then get up in the morning and do. Okay, so you're okay. Breath test. You're okay with kissing someone who's I, brushed I'm their saying, teeth at night. I'm saying it'll be better. Let's just say, if it's love, it's love. Oh, It's trying to be cute. It's Valentine's <laughs> Day. Cute. Hmm. I, it, again, for me, nobody asked, but I'm an answer. <laughs> it's a no. I agree with you. I think you'll say no, but you'll do it. No. You're like, you're what? giving me that Gross look. wife. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, she sounds very strict. She's like, no. Yeah, like I can, I, I can imagine her like pushing like out. Yeah, get out, get out, <laughs> break up. <laughs> yeah. No, but no, I was in a relationship for four years and I've never done it, so I don't think I'll ever do it. And it doesn't matter. Like, I discussed this this whole thing with Shreya before the podcast, and somebody suggested that oh, if you're really in love with him, you would have done it. No. <laughs> 
no, to the it part. doesn't matter. It's just like a hygiene issue. <laughs> like I, I wouldn't do it. Hmm. What if it's just a peck? Like <laughs> then what? It just happened. Like you weren't prepared. It just came to you. Then <laughs> you can't do anything about First it. First of all, that's harassment. No. What do you mean? I'm not prepared. I don't know. It's just <laughs> happening out of nowhere. It's <laughs> it's happening out of nowhere. <laughs> Um, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I I probably be okay with that. Yeah, I think See? that I would be. Yeah, See? that I would be okay with. I'm not strict that way. Proved my point. I think <laughs> uh, we all have established how important grooming is, like in general mm. and specifically when it comes to dating. That's the priority, right? Valentine special. Valentine's mm-hmm. special grooming etiquettes Valentine's Day edition Having said that that is it for this video we hope you guys had fun we had a lot of fun filming this We did And also let us know in the comment section below who you want our next guest to be and and, and whether you like this guest or not <laughs> Thank you But yeah that's it for this video you guys know the drill like share and subscribe to this video and we will see you guys next, next time. time Bye Oh, 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 oh,